Well, guys, I got the first prints off of this printer, and everything went pretty good, except for a couple little details. One of which is a little roller right back under here underneath the extruder. I'm going to try my best to uh, get a closer shot of it to show you what happened with it. And then I noticed that the bed seems a little bit loose. So I need to make a few adjustments on it, and so uh, bear with me and let's uh, get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have the A30 turned over on its side here so we can take a look at the bottom of it. Now, as you can see, there's three wheels here. There's three wheels here because this one has two tracks, uh, which is a great improvement over the, a single track. It gives it a little bit more stability. But at the same time, you see how that wheel's a little bit loose right there? We want to go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. Now, I did it with this one by just uh, using a wrench. Uh, in this case, it's a 10 millimeter. And taking hold of the eccentric nut and giving it a little bit of a turn until it starts to meet up to where I can just take and roll the roller and then it seems to turn. Now I'm noticing this one seems to still be loose. That one's tight. I honestly don't know how I would correct that. None of these seem extra tight. I just don't, I don't want to tweak it. That's the only thing I just don't want to do. At the moment, so even that one's still a little bit loose. Let me try tightening it just a hair more. Uh, it's loosening it. So let's turn it this way. There we go. It's making con more contact now. It's still, yeah, there we go. It's making contact. Check down there, make sure everything's moving, everything's moving. I don't have it super tight. If you do it super tight, you stand a chance of messing the wheels up. That's still got a little bit of play right there, but compared to what it was, it's going to be fine. So now let me go ahead and turn it around, and let's take a look at the extruder, because that's where the real issue is. Okay, so if I take hold of the extruder and I move it, you'll notice that these two wheels are moving just fine. That one's not there's a flat spot on that wheel. It goes so far and then it will lock up because of this flat spot right here. Now that could be several reasons. It could be the bearings bound up. Um, I honestly don't know. Halfway through the tire print I had to take and flip this wheel around because it, it froze up. It, it, was, uh, it created a groove in the wheel so it wasn't traveling correctly, which caused the whole extruder to dip just a hair. And I want to say dip, I'm not talking a major dip, I'm talking maybe a half a millimeter, but it's enough where it caused some inaccuracies in the print. So I want to go ahead and correct that. Now GTEC has set out some new wheels for it, they should be arriving soon. Uh, the only thing is I have a project I have to finish up by this coming weekend. And it's for Calvin, it's for his uh, maker coin that he's wanting printed really big. So I went on Amazon and I picked up these. I uh, forget the actual brand. I'll put the, the name of it in the video description along with a link to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try these out. They look like they're going to be the same size. But let's start out by getting this taken off and see what's going on with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to grab hold of the nut at the back of the... It's kind of behind the hot end, but it's on the metal piece at the back of the extruder here and I'm just going to remove this Allen head screw that's located right there. And once I get it loosened up enough, there we go. I'm going to lay everything down on the bed for the moment. I'm going to bring the nut down. Okay, now let's take a closer look at this wheel. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this wheel. See that flat spot right there? Dude, <laughs> forgive me, I'm not good with the cameras like this. See that spot right there? That's my flat spot on that side. And this was a flat spot on the other side, right there. And that's what caused it to, to just slide across the rail instead of actually rolling. Now, I've got a hunch on what it could be that caused it. So let's take a quick look and see if I'm right or wrong on it. Now back when I assembled the, um, for one thing, the, the rollers, the, 
bearings seem a little bit on the rough side. But one thing I remember back whenever I did the TiVo Tarantula, there was a deal online where they talked about putting a spacer between the two bearings. I'm curious if they did that on these or if they just uh, went directly, just put the bearing inside without any kind of a spacer. Okay, just pulled the bearing out. Now it looks like there is a washer inside there. So they did create a spacer. The only thing is the washer is actually a fairly wide washer. So it's kind of, I don't know if that would cause an issue as far as binding inside there. It looks like a pretty good size washer compared to the race that's on the center of the, of the bearing. Anyway, uh, on this new set, let's take a look at those. I can tell right away by looking through it. See that brass washer? It's a very thin washer that they put in them. That, uh, so it's already pre-shimmed. That should work out. The bearings feel really smooth on this one. It doesn't seem to have the... Uh, you can't hear it with this microphone, I'm sure. This bearing right here has a... You can feel a roughness in it compared to this bearing. This bearing's smooth. This one has got a little bit of a grind to it. So that could have been what caused it. This one seems very smooth. So let's go ahead and give this a shot and see. I think I want to just check to make sure it fits in the groove, which it does. So let's go ahead and just put it on there and just see how it works out. So that's going to be the screw with the washer. Then it's going to be the eccentric nut. And then it's a matter of getting this in there and putting it in place. <laughs> So bear with me as I do that. This was the hard part whenever I was trying to do it with the print still on the build plate. Okay, I believe I got it started. So let's just go ahead. Yep. It is started, so now it's just a matter of kind of getting it close to where it needs to be. And then adjusting the eccentric nut. Let's try tightening it a little bit more. Make sure everything's seated correctly. Yeah, I thought something seemed a little bit off there. But now, I don't think the eccentric nut was completely seated in its hole. This slop there a little bit, less slop. Right there, everything is rolling correctly. If I really start turning the wheel, I can, but everything seems pretty tight. I could probably do it a little bit more, but I don't think I will. I don't want to put a tremendous amount of strain on those wheels. Um, there's really no purpose in it. <laughs> It's rolling across nicely. That should work. So now I just want to go ahead and tighten this up. That feels good. Okay, so that's how I take care of that. Um, once again, I'll put a link to these in the video description. Um, as I said before, GTEC is sending out a set of wheels. So thank you very much, GTEC, for taking care of me on that. 
but uh, I just I need to get things going before uh, this coming weekend. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.